Frank Shamrock's back with us. Frank, welcome in. Thanks. Glad you're with us. Let me get your take on, on the whole thing with Fedor. He's 34, going to be 35 uh, later this year. Arguably the best ever, certainly in the top five. What have you noticed about his game in this progression of losing to Verdum, losing to Silva? Now, you've been there for both. Well, I mean, from a commentator standpoint and from a fighter standpoint, I've seen him make a couple of tactical errors, you know, yep. rushing into the guard, you know, things that, you know, technically he should have waited, he should have baited. Um, I, don't, I don't agree with him jumping into Silva's guard and trying to ground and pound the giant. I mean, I think he should have been sticking and moving, standing up and trying to do some precision, precision striking with him. But I just think my personal opinion is I talked to him before the fight and he was very open. I asked him about retirement and how, when, when he saw the end coming. And he told me, he goes, when my body and my heart are done, then I'll be done and I'll go do something else. And I think that he just had that really, really rough night yeah. where he was questioning it, am I done? Let me ask you both, because you guys yep. fought at the top of the game all the way through. There was a big distance after he beat Noguera, after he was the pride champ, then came back the next year and was the grand prix champ. Mm -hmm. And then there's been some, you know, good, good competition, quality competition, and then a few circus acts like Hung Man Choi in there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he didn't fight the UFC guys. He, he fought Silva after, on the downside. He fought Arlovsky on the downside. Do you think possibly, you know, he's got a great deal, he makes money with M1 Global, but do you think maybe that's taken a little bit of the spark out of him? In other words, Fedor wasn't fighting Couture and these guys four or five years ago. He had some matches where he thought he'd win. You know, he had Matt Lindland trying to move in weight and things like that and to fight him. I don't know. Does that have an effect on a fighter? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, granted, his brand has been carefully crafted as he's moved forward. But he's also earned it. He's had some really tough fights. He's fought in some incredibly tough tournaments. You know, I think personally, as a guy that got old in the game and watched myself get old in the game, his style and his techniques and his flow, they're getting a bit older. And he, if he's going to keep up with these athletes at this caliber, at this size, at this speed, he's going to have to update those techniques. And I had to update my techniques because my techniques got older. And I see it in Fedor. And I see the power punching and I see those precision jumping, leaping strikes. That Once those were gone, I mean, he really had no solution to beating Silva. So he's got to change his techniques or he's going to get old. Plus, I think, yeah. Yeah, and on top of that, the glow is gone. Yeah. yeah. You know, people know the now aura. that you can't beat him. You know, we had it with Mike Tyson, you had all the greatest guys, Vandalay Silva, you know, all the great guys are raining, 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 and suddenly somebody knocks them out or catches them. You know, you go, wait a minute, this guy is human. And now this one on top of it, that's going to be very hard for him to come back out of this time. And the guys he fights are going to have the utmost confidence now. Yep. Before they would have been, you know, crushed a little bit going in there. Now they see the holes and they see the mistakes and they see him beaten. Yeah. They're going to have huge confidence. And you're talking about modern athletes right. with new techniques, with huge confidence. It's a big problem. You check out entire fighter interviews and exclusive unaired footage at www.hd.net in the blog section. And don't miss the best mixed martial arts show on TV, Inside MMA, every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, only on HDNet. Don't miss Inside MMA and HDNet Fights every Friday night, only on HDNet. Call your cable or satellite provider today and demand HDNet. For more info, go to HDNetFights.com.